Welcome back everybody, we are here returning to our pirate cove or bay, whatever it is, it's not important. Welcome back everybody, good to have you guys here and good to be back in an area that we have not seen in quite some time. And it's quite the different area from where we were last episode and I'm kind of glad because we're going to be going back to our roots, the building roots that is. And I've got us quite a planned build uh, for for a while, actually, <laughs> very. I'll explain it. Don't worry. I will explain what I, what's going on. Uh, but quite the planned build coming up, and I think it's going to be really, really cool. And by planned, I mean I plan. In fact, I'm going to do this because I I need to do these as for what I want to use these for. Uh, but yeah, I've I've got quite a cool plan, which is not about this build today. It's about many builds in the future, and I think it'll be a cool little thing to to play around with. Uh, so let's let's get into it. First of all. How you guys all doing? Great to see you guys here again. And uh, of course, in fact, I think I'm going to go and turn half of these into these. Uh, of course, uh, we're back again, building, which is what I meant by our roots. We, we're back into it and we, we're back doing this sort of stuff. So that's fantastic. Now, what I was, what I was saying is I want to build a thing, right? Let's just think of this as a random thing that we're going to build. And then what we're going to do with the random thing is we're going to build another random thing that connects to it. And then we're going to build another random thing that connects to that. And then we're going to keep doing that and try and create sort of a, a very junkyard kind of feel. And I know it's not meant to be a junkyard, but this is a pirate cove or a pirate bay. It's not a cove. It really isn't. It, like, that, there's open ocean everywhere. I don't know. Maybe maybe it is. You know, It's unimportant. But uh, I, I do continue to go on about it. Uh, but but the, the thing with it is I want it to look like something was here, like these these warehouses, and then they got destroyed. And I think the best way to do that is to go ahead and do that, build warehouses, and then destroy them. Because sometimes just trying to build something broken, I mean, it it, it comes out broken, but not in the way you wanted it. Uh, actually, I do have further falling. And there's no water around here. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Yeah, look at that. Further falling doesn't make a difference. Uh, so what I want to do is I want to go and get this, this little tower laid out today. And today, I think what we'll do is we're going to do half this tower, and it's going to be important because I want this to be full of detail that we can eventually strip away and put something else in to keep it evolving into what I'm hoping will be a tower with a, a bunch of junk and making up a bar. I think that'll be really cool, and I think that will be very piratey, if you ask me. So what I want to do is go ahead, get some stuff laid out here. We'll go and make some some pillars around the sides and, and get things get things going. But... This is this is a concept that I've always wanted to do, by the way, and I've, I've always thought about it. Like, how cool would it be just to build and then build something on the build and then build something on the build, but it's a completed build each time. So I never have to have something that is technically incomplete, <laughs> even though it's a big progressing thing. I guess it's kind of like, uh, think of it when you build a city, right? You finish a house and the city's not incomplete. Well, the city's incomplete, sorry, but the, the house is not. And I think that's a pretty cool feeling, you know, just having having your buildings completed, but not the whole build in total. Okay. Yeah, okay, I can deal with this. I think this will work. So now that we've got these beautiful, beautiful, beautiful blocks, I think I want to use them. But in fact, maybe maybe it'll be smarter to to go step back and, and make a make a very kind of boring shape. And I realize I don't have any of these things. Make a kind of boring shape a bit more interesting. So can I get out of here? Get some of those. Apparently I don't have any dark oak, which is, which is fine. That's, that's expected because I use this stuff like crazy. There we go. And there. So what I want to do now is I want to just get a, a cool bottom shape for this tower. And the idea of it is, that was a mistake by the way, the idea of it is that if we get the bottom looking nice and chunky and, and detailed. The middle piece going up to the top doesn't have to be. And it's the whole fact of looking at something and saying, hmm, that looks very boring. But if if it's too detailed, you're like, hmm, that looks too detailed. So if we can get detail here, detail on eventually the top and a boring middle, I think we've done a good job. <laughs> I, I think that's that's the best way to do it. So here's something I have to think that this piece in the middle is going to be where our ladder is going to go up. It's something I forget every single time, and then I mess myself up. So let's just try and get some interesting shapes here. So boring box. Let's make this box a little bit more interesting. Arr, I, I thought I changed off of it. I, I just didn't push the button. Okay, we'll try it again. There. And there we go. 
It's, uh, you know what? What is this? Episode 32? 32 episodes. Uh, a ridiculous amount of days. Well, not not actually that many days played in, in this world. Surprisingly, I was actually kind of surprised after the last episode checking out the statistics. Uh, but not a lot of days, but enough to have got used to this <laughs> stripping bark block thing. But apparently it takes me a little bit longer to learn this stuff because, hey, I, 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 I am me. <laughs> Uh, I, uh, I don't know what I would have expected. So there we go. Let's just check this out. How does that look? Uh, I don't like this. I think this needs to go up a bit. But you can see, this is what I'm going for. Just, a, just an interesting shape. If we can kind of just step back, put it on, step back, put it on. We'll get something very interesting very quickly. I think we'll, we'll take these out. And I've got a little bit of a plan here because we want to make it kind of like a Coke bottle shape. You know, when, when you look at it, it goes in and then back out again. And I think what we'll do is we'll switch over. Let's go for a lighter block here. And we'll just quickly pop those in there. And what we'll do is we will put in another block here, which is this. Yeah, you see that? A nice lighter color. And then we'll, we'll do the same thing up here. So we can go ahead and drop those in around the corners like that. And then we can get ourselves an interesting shape to it, which will be with those. Change it up again, because we're about to do a roof, so we may as well may as well change the blocks up. You know, just just little things, there and there, and yeah, a very simple little thing that goes up. And then we can, of course, finish off what we started. Is this spruce or is this dark oak? It is dark oak. Cool. And we'll just go up here, here, like that, that. There, 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 and here. Wonderful. All right. So I've got some plans with those those uh, kelp blocks, which I didn't think I would ever say because I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm 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 still quite quite skeptical of them, but I have used them a little bit in a creative world, just playing around with them with some ideas of how they could work with blocks, and they seem to actually be sort of usable. And by sort of usable, I mean very much usable. I thought what would what would really destroyed for me would be oh that's my first kelp uh, can I get through there uh, what I thought would destroy it for me was the fact that they've got this really weird line around the sides and I, I didn't like the idea of that oh wow we, we don't have that much kelp <laughs> I didn't think about how much it's gonna take I had a feeling it was either four or nine and uh, apparently it's nine there we go so let's just have a look at this see that I always thought that little line over there was a little bit annoying because it's it's slightly off centered, and how do I how do I show you this? Actually, this will be good, because if we put these here, you'll see there's the center, and it's one pixel off to the side because they didn't do a two pixel thing. You can see that there's the one, there's the other, and actually just think of pixels. I mentioned two episodes ago I was going to switch over to the other pack, the uh, the updated textures pack, and I haven't done that so. I guess this episode's a bit far gone. <laughs> we'll we'll go over it to in the uh, in the next episode, which is actually going to be appropriate. What I th what I think at least. I never know how they're going to turn out, but I, I think it'll be quite appropriate. Uh, so this over here is just slightly off, and it, it kind of puts to me at least it, it makes me makes me scared working with stuff like this, just because I'm me. And you can see there, even the cross slightly off to the side, but I think we can use it. And uh, that is going to be our challenge for today. Now, I've been wanting to go and get this thing every single time I go to the coral. But you know what? I thought it would be good to break up a little bit of our building. Because that building's... Uh, it's, it's looking good. I've done a little bit more. It's definitely looking good. But what I want to do is I want to go and find this little thing that I've been seeing in this ravine. Which is a, a, an ocean structure. Which I thought was right here. And <laughs> it's been bugging me. Because I've always got coral in my inventory or... I, I'm just distracted with other things. Wow. This is actually really cool. <laughs> I forget how cool this is. I, I've kind of... Oh, no. Um, I've kind of gone out of my my awe and wonder for Minecraft 1.13. And now I am, uh, I'm, I'm feeling it again. And look at that. Awe and wonder. Those chunks were there once, and now they are not. Magical. Just magical. This game is, is absolutely amazing. All right, so... <laughs> Let's try and find this thing. I, I definitely saw one. I can see it every time I come in my boat, and I just can't see it right now. Did I just hear? Oh. Where's- Ah, oh, there it is. Okay, cool. Is this a looting sword? It is not. Okay, well, I guess the trident is gonna be what I'm using. 
which I really need a second one of. And one more hit. Dang it. I can hear another one. Ah, oh, is that a baby? That's a baby. Uh, okay. Cool. Okay, cool. Well, <laughs> uh, that was interesting. But let me just check. Is there anything floating around underwater? No, no, no. Nah, we good. We good. I just need to go and find this darn monument. Tell you what, let's just go up to the top here. And then we'll come in as if we were coming in from the coral. I see it around here, I thought. I thought it was right here. Honestly, I, I am 100% convinced. This thing is here every time I don't need it. And now it's gone. Right, there's some there's some funky stuff going on here, but I think that is it right there. I think. I am not too sure now because hey, I I could have sworn it was back that way, but let's go check it out. Did I see something down here? I certainly did. Thank goodness. I ended up going back for the boat because you know what? That's probably the way I'm gonna find it. Man, this is dark. Let's just uh, let's just sort this out. That helped so much. All right, where is? Where are you, treasure? Where is it? In fact, I, I need to go back treasure hunting again. Listen, if there is no treasure in this, after all this, I have I have committed. Really? Really, Mr. Treasure, you're just gonna disappear like that on me, right? No, 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 okay, good. Oh, great! Exactly what I wanted. Well, now this, this is amazing. Look at that. Great, great loot. Well worth the trip. I can't believe we went all the way out here for something <laughs> this amazing. I, I'm, I'm really so happy. So happy. Tell you what, if we do not have success in our ocean adventures, I think we will have to leave that success just for the building. How about that? Now, what I've decided to do is go ahead and use a little bit of acacia in there. And I think that is looking quite good. I, I actually do quite like that acacia. In fact, that's something I forget to use all the time, and I think it's a beautiful little block. In fact, I just need to do this, because this is... I, I understand I'm putting a door here, but this is actually three tall, and not too tall. So I'm, I'm better off fixing that. In fact, I'm better off doing this. Because it makes more sense. Because now it looks cool. Like that. Oh, no. Uh, that. And then that. And then that. And then we are done. And of course, it's nighttime, which is actually something... I haven't seen this place at night. Maybe we'll, we'll wait a few seconds just to go and check the, the area out. Because this is something. I've, I've said this for a while. And my my wish for this game is that there was some way to make an, a large area mob-free without spamming torches and light around the place. Because I think, I think the shadows add just as much. Like, look at that. Look at the shadow over there. I think that adds just as much uh, to the game as what the... To, like the what the the daylight does, you know the the lights from there. Look at that, really cool. And and as much as what the lights look, how the lights look cool. The lights only look cool when there's less light. And by the way, there's our beautiful uh, <laughs> fishing rod. That's what I think about it. It can sit there, and uh, I'll I'll collect it later. How about that? I uh, I'm sure I will. So I need to get myself some stairs. We'll go for those. And I saw some of these in there. Take those with us, just in case I'm feeling a little bit, uh, a little bit, what is the word, adventurous? Well, I mean, hey, we, we weren't too adventurous with, oh, ah, cool. Actually, let's just do a creeper inspection. Yeah, we good, we good. Uh, there we go. I wasn't feeling too adventurous with adventure, so I think that counts. There we go, and we, you know what? I know where, I know what I did. When I built this crow's nest, not too long ago, we put in, one of these here for a reason, and I think this is that reason. We'll go three because I'm always going to use these doors. I, I really need more more doors. Uh, but yeah, as I say, I, I've always wanted an update which would do something like that, make the nighttime as beautiful as the daytime to to play in at least. I think the day the nighttime looks beautiful already. I just think we we need a little bit of love in the nighttime areas of the game, and uh, I think I think the game will have a whole another part of it that people just never use. Now let's try this. Let's just go around there and we start making this ready for a little bit of a roof because oh dang it Because <laughs> I think that would be that would be something I would love 
just just out of out of everything i think that'll be something i would really have a good time with uh but speaking of that and this is probably a, a good point is many of you guys know that minecraft minecon which is no longer a convention but it's uh, a live stream mine live stream is up this week and uh it's gonna have some very cool stuff so basically uh, we're gonna be doing what we did last year where we get to vote for a mob which was a fantastic choice right and uh, we get to vote on a biome that will be updated in the game first, which I think we've spoken about. But what's going to be kind of cool is you get to select the biome. And I've been trying to think. I'm, I'm trying to see what people think about each biome. And it seems that they are releasing uh, a video every few days on, on what they expecting to do in the biomes. And the desert one has just recently come out. Um, I think I'm going to use... I think I can do this. I've been I've been playing around with these roof ideas, by the way. So if you guys just watch, you might... might find something that you can find to help you with shape. I, I don't know why, but I find these blocks at the the bottom here, I, from the last village, actually, I, I started doing this. I find they really help me so much just to get a shape, and it's really weird. I, I don't understand why, but hey, I'm not here to question it. I'm just here. I'm just going to do it. You know what I mean? I'm just I'm just going to put the blocks in, and if they work, they work, and I'll, I'll keep them there. <laughs> but uh, I, I was looking at the desert. I found the desert. I, I thought that some you could get some real cool stuff for the desert, but the video kind of showed uh, that they released at least today uh, showed some palm trees and maybe a meerkat. And I was like, yeah, I was kind of hoping for something a little bit more, maybe, maybe like a I don't know oasis bio. Maybe, maybe that's what they meant with the the palm tree. That would be really cool. But I always thought something in the middle of a desert, like a an oasis biome, where you have bushes and you have uh, palm trees and just a, a little watering hole. I think that would be so so cool. But uh, hey, that's just that's just what I want. That's just just me thinking what I'm what I'm thinking. Now, how does this go up? Do we go up like that, there, uh, there, and here? In fact, no, we can't because guess what? We can't put a. We got we got to watch out for this wall. So this is where we go to the 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 blocks of my choosing, which were kelp. I was planning on doing this. So if we put the kelp block in the center here to be our main pillar up and this is where I found that they actually do excel quite well these these kelp blocks as a vertical block for a wall and it seems kind of weird and I hope it does because it shouldn't work but it will I think <laughs> uh, so let's just do something like that that then that and then that because that allows us to put some some things to make this look a little bit cooler. So let's just take a step back because I'm I'm feeling pretty good about this, but I'm not too sure what what it what it's really gonna do. But either way, whatever you guys are thinking, tell me what you think. What is gonna be your choice for the Minecon thing currently? With what you know, I mean, I I think it like I'm not gonna make my choice until I see the other other two. But I found that the desert one, for me at least, it, it didn't have as much stuff as what I I thought it would. But I hope that you'll get some more stuff. Let's go up here. Let's check this out from a from a good viewing point, right there. Yeah, I could push these ones up there, but I, I want to just try see if I can put these in there if it'll work. But I actually quite like this little little uh, little uh, hut almost. So the idea is obviously the hut. Then we'll move on to something else. Then we'll move on to something else, and eventually it'll be a big, huge building with a lot of little details all finished up though. So we'll go up there. Let's just uh, let's just get our blocks out and we'll pillar up, pillar up, pillar up, pillar up, pillar up, and however many we can do. There we go. There we go. And yeah, we've only got two left. So that's fine. Now let's put these in here, there, and around these corners. And these just tend to, okay, unplanned drop off the edge. Yeah, these tend to get a good shape. You see that there? That's, that's, why I did not put those slabs in there. You can't see it very very obviously, but it kind of just swoops up and, and your eyes kind of play with it. It's 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 weird. I do not know, as I say, I'm I, I'm just the I'm just the builder here, man. I don't I don't know what's going on. I just put the blocks in and figure out weird things like that. I, I feel like it works. That's that's the cool thing. Is <laughs> it might not even make sense, but to me it does. And I'm 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 gonna leave it like that. So maybe something like that. And we'll take a, an intentional drop off the edge here. Yeah, yeah, I'm down with that. that. That'll work. And now we will use more blocks just to get up over there, like that. 
and let's just do something like this because this will be where we'll end the tower and then we can always go on extend the rest of this and realistically I'm just uh I'm running out of kelp here so I guess that's probably the reason why we're not going to do it but uh we'll we'll just leave it at that because of course that's where we will we'll end up going up and then working on to the top of the tower and I mean you know what actually I didn't actually explain why this tower is here and, and this is kind of where a little bit of story comes into it is the important part about this tower is that it was here before and now it's being ruined and other things are being built here so there was a shipping area port for a village or a city actually the, the main city all the way over there and the thought is that this would have been a, a lookout tower for them that is now being overrun and pirates own this area that's the thought that's what we're building with and it's important because i mean how else would we make a broken tower without the idea that the tower had all these broken things besides having a little bit of a story so just a little bit of food for thought. Try to think about a little bit of a story and you can add a lot more to your builds, hopefully. I mean, hey, I haven't finished it, but I'm, I'm feeling good about it. I'm, I'm liking the look of this and I'm so glad we've got that beautiful ocean monument turned into a... <laughs> turned into a mega prismarine farm. So that will be us for today, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you guys have enjoyed this little bit of a build and I think it's going to be a really cool thing just to see the evolution of this over a few episodes into a tower, into eventually a bar, which I'm thinking with a few extra little add-ons here and there, I think it's going to be really, really cool. So thank you very much for joining me here today, guys, and I'll see you very soon.